Hello friends, my name is Akshan Srivastava and welcome to CAD Academy. So this is the part 3 of EEG signal analysis. So I'm uploading this part 3 after a very long time. So during this period I received many mails and comments on YouTube videos also and were asking about when this part 3 will come. So I was a little busy and uh, in this video we will discuss about uh, the feature matrix how the feature matrix is going to form and how this feature matrix is going to get fed into the the uh, machine learning model so this is the code that we wrote in the part 2 of eg signal analysis so uh, we'll just quickly run this code and so here we have the result of this code and the result that we are receiving is the feature so basically we were calculating three different features here so those were one was mean one was standard deviation and one was variance so this first column represent the mean this one is standard deviation and this third one is variance so this is the feature matrix for just one dot csv file so we'll do the same thing and we will apply this uh, uh, method on all the .csv file that we have here then after that we will uh, form a feature matrix and that final feature matrix will get into the machine learning model so first of all we have this a underscore n underscore f dot csv so we will run this code on all this .csv file that we have basically all this eeg signal that we have a underscore n underscore f so here f represent female and here m represent male so what we will do we'll just see how to classify this male and female eeg signal here so for that what we have to do we'll just open a excel file and what we have to do here First, we will run this feature extraction code on all the female EEG signal. So, first we have this one A underscore N underscore F. So, for this, the feature matrix that we got was this one. We'll just paste it here. Then, what we will do? We'll run this code on. Now, we'll run this code on this one EEG signal so basically this A, B, C, D is representing subject and here N representing neutral so basically uh, this data set is uh, for uh, whether the person is uh, neutral or he or she is concentrating based on this uh, this EEG signal was recorded so uh, I'm just for learning purpose I'm just uh, showing this example to you guys so uh, we have done this for uh, a underscore n underscore f dot csv now we will do this for uh, b underscore and so basically second subject we'll run this code here and now this time for this second female subject we have this as the feature so what we'll do we'll just copy the second one also in this uh, we will write one and we'll make it one till the so basically this is this one is representing this is the first class okay so what is class class basically uh, in uh, what classes we are going to classify our signal so basically this is uh, for first subject and this is first class because we are uh, doing this for female so we are considering two different classes one is male one is female so this one is female so uh, so this is for female and this one is also for female so we'll write this one here also okay now we'll do this for c underscore n underscore f so we'll just make it c we'll run the code we have this new matrix we'll paste it here 
and again this is the first class for females so we'll just continue writing this one at the fourth column here all right now we have this one which is fourth subject fourth female subject so we have d here we'll run the code for this one now at this time we have this matrix right we'll copy this we'll paste it after this and again this is a female class so we'll do this here all right now the next thing that we have to do is we are done with one class we have to go to the second class so the second class let's start from a underscore n underscore m m is what male so we'll run this code here okay we have this new matrix here okay we'll just copy it we'll paste it here but now this time this is our second class so we will write 2 and we'll extend it here till the end now we'll pick the second male subject and that will be b underscore n underscore m we'll run the code we have another matrix this one we'll copy this we'll paste it here we'll write to here uh, basically we'll just extend it now we'll move to this third male subject that is c underscore n underscore m we'll repeat the process we will have a new matrix so similarly doing the same thing we'll paste here for another one we'll do the same we'll have a matrix all right and we'll just extend this to to the end okay so now we have this another matrix so what we will try to do we'll uh, do a supervised machine learning in supervised machine learning what we do we tell the machine learning model about that this is the first class this is the second class so machine learning model gets trained and it uh, tells whether it is capable of you know uh, identifying or classifying the the eg signal with a good accuracy so what we did in d column we told that till here we have this one class and after that we have the second class okay so these three column are representing mean standard deviation and variance so these are the features so generally when we uh, do a project level thing so we don't just calculate these three features only we calculate around 20 30 features and out of that we pick some best features using pca so there are different different things that we do to achieve a good accuracy but uh, this is kind of a learning process so slowly we will move towards all those things so first of all we'll just try to uh, have some basic understanding about the machine learning so we have three different column and in fourth column we are telling about the class so this is generally called class labeling and these three are feature columns now we are done with making a feature matrix and in next part what we will do we will put this feature matrix into a machine learning model and we'll see what kind of accuracy we are receiving so before feeding this into a machine learning model we need to do some sort of you know randomization to improve the accuracy in the machine learning model so for that what we do we do randomization that we will see in the next part stay tuned please don't forget to subscribe we'll have a lot of different different a lot of exciting things about the machine learning we will be discussing that in upcoming parts of this series thank you